Jude Bellingham, Jaden Sancho, Gigi Donnarumma, Yuri Tillemans. Just a handful of players that have won Gold.com's Next Gen Award. And for a couple of years now on Football Manager, you've been able to have a look at the list of the 50 brightest talents in your save. Many of these players may well be out of your price range and they might already be at a big club, but you can find some hidden gems in there that you might not have necessarily found. And today we're going to have a look through the list of 50 in FM24. Welcome back to the channel, it's Andy, and this is the Next Gen list on Football Manager 2024. Now the Next Gen list will always come up in your inbox on the 31st of March, whatever year you are in, as long as you are at a club. I did do this with an unemployed manager and it never actually came into my inbox, so you need to be at a club for you to get this. And you can see who's won the Next Gen award there, uh, Evan Ferguson. We'll have a look at the top 50, but we can also have a look at the previous winners that I mentioned at the start of the video. If you want to find that, then go to to the top and go to this globe icon this might look a bit different for you because this is a custom skin this is the SAS 24 skin links in the description if you want to see it for yourself so you click the globe icon you go across to world and then you go into award winners on the left under general you'll have the list here of like all the awards throughout the year you know the footballers of the year the golden gloves uh goal 50 is the top 50 players for that season so you can see messi's won the past couple of seasons at psg Lewandowski is there van dyke ronaldo here is the next gen list and that comes from goal.com as well which is where these uh, two awards have basically come from and you can see the previous winners. You see that Jude Bellingham won it in 2022. Uh, Anzu Fati won it in 2021. Rodrigo won it in 2020. There's Jaden Sancho, Justin Cliver, uh, Donnarumma and Tielemans. And yeah, some of these players are, you know, fantastic players today. Some of them might not have had the careers they expected. For example, Justin Cliver is playing at AFC Bournemouth. And Jaden Sancho is kind of struggling at Manchester United. But you know how good Bellingham is. He's had a phenomenal start to his time at Real Madrid. One of the brightest talents in world football. So we're going to have a look at the players in this list. Now it does mention Evan Ferguson at the top there. Also mentions the next Garincha and an Australian Suarez. So that's a bit of a clue as to some of the players that you can see in the list. So we're going to go through. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up to the top. Eventually towards uh, Mr. Ferguson himself. So number 50 is a 19-year-old from Ghent. This is Malik Fafan, who is a right winger. Very good carry of the ball. Fantastic first touch and athletic as well. He is Belgium and Ghanaian. He's been at Ghent for about four years. And you can pick him up for under £10 million at the start of the save. So that's a good player that you can get for your team. Mika Faye is from Senegal. He is a central defender. Very, very well-rounded, uh, playing at Barcelona B. Again, he's quick. He's strong. Uh, technically, he's not too bad, but has got plenty of room to grow. He is still only 19 years old, of course. He came through at Dian Bars in Senegal, spent some time in Croatia playing for Kostasia, uh, has now moved to Barcelona. £1.3 million they've paid for him. Hasn't played too much in this save, but again, you can get him for probably under £10 million and uh, try and make use of him. Lovro Zvonarek is a attacking midfielder from Croatia playing for Bayern for their second team primarily. Again, very, very well-rounded physically, good first touch, good passer of the ball, decent vision as well. So that creative player playing as that number 10. And in this save, he's doing well for the second team of Bayern. He's got five goals and six assists. Alvaro Rodriguez is from Real Madrid. He's going to cost you significantly more money. He's a centre forward, uh, decent finishing, great heading as well. Six foot four with 15 jumping reach, a real aerial presence. And he's on the cusp of the Uruguayan national team. Got a couple of caps in this save, also part Spanish. Badruddin Buonani is a right-sided player that's actually playing for Coventry in the championship on loan from Nice. Uh, he's part French, part Algerian. Again, a very very good with the ball, pretty athletic, uh, great natural fitness. So he is on loan at Coventry for this season, but he does have three years left on his deal with the league unside. Joao Rego plays for Benfica. He's an attacking midfielder, can play on the middle or on the left hand side. Not going to cost you a great deal of money. Playing in the B side for Benfica, got four goals and 24 appearances this, this season. Again, very good with the ball, good passing, great determination, really good flair as well, and great vision. So. We'll have to see how many assists has he got. Just the one assist, but again, one of those creative players can play in the middle or on the left. And he's only 18 as well. All the players on this list are 19 or under. Some of them might be 18, some might be 17. You might even see a 16-year-old in here. Who knows? Do excuse the pronunciation of some of these. I am kind of a multilinguist. I do speak some languages, but not all of them. But the goalkeeper next from Poland and from the USA, Gabriel Slonina. That's probably wrong. But he plays for Open in Belgium on loan from Chelsea. Came through at uh, Chicago Fires Academy. Determined, good jumping reach at six foot four. Uh, good aerial reach, good reflexes. And the 19-year-old is first choice goalkeeper at the Jupiler Pro League side. 
And it looks like it'll cost you around 20 million pounds at the start of the save. Up next from South Sudan and Australia, Gurang Kual. He is a right-sided winger or attacker that plays for Volendam. Volendam are in the Dutch Eredivisie, so playing in the Netherlands. Nine goals for them this season is good. On loan from Newcastle United, also spent some time at Hearts as well. Going to cost you around 25 million pounds, um, and he's from Newcastle as well, so they will not want to let a young player like this go. Could be the future in terms of Newcastle's attacking force going forward. He is rapid. He's got 16 pace and 17 acceleration. Also got 16 dribbling. This guy uh, looks like a problem. Tygo Land next, a Dutch player midfielder on loan from PSV at Plymouth Argyle. Concentration's good, decision making's good, composure's good. Like those mentals are really decent. Um, great finisher with the ball as well, so he can get some goals from midfield. Hasn't got any yet, but does have an assist for Plymouth. Some of the other things to look out for with these players are their personalities and their media handling, which you might always not be able to see. Again, this is a custom skin, so you might not be able to see it. But media friendly, this player is fairly determined as well. And then from Brighton and Hove Albion, we have Adrian Mazilu from Romania. Right-sided player, fairly quick and athletic. And uh, again, good mentals in there, determined, decent flair. Technicals aren't too bad either. He's come through at Farrell Constanza now at Brighton. Going to cost you up with a £30 million, it seems. He's only 18 as well, so he's got a year on most of the players in this list. It's like top of the pops this. We're now at 31 to 40, and number 40 is Sam Amo. Amayo, who is playing for Leighton Orient on loan from Southampton, part Carne and part English, left-sided player, quick, good dribbling once again, flares decent as well, only 17 years old as well, so he's got two years on most of these players, and he is on the score sheet for Leighton Orient in League One. Staying in England, we have Luca Colliosho, a winger that can play on either side, playing for Burnley, going to cost you an awful lot of money, recent signing it seems for Burnley from Espanyol, £2.6 million, got a couple of goals for them in the Premier League as well, and his value is up and his value is at least 50 million pounds could be more so this guy is a real bright prospect for Burnley he's very very quick he's good with the ball he's very brave as well work rate's good got a good player here Burnley Tom Roth is from Germany he is a left back a very attacking left back it seems he plays for Holstein Kiel on loan from Borussia Dortmund so he is in I think the second division in the Bundesliga he is there's why the Bundesliga he is very well rounded he's a first team player for Holstein Kiel uh, great crossing uh, very physical as well good off the ball good work great this is a left back that I'd love to have in my side definitely he's very very good it's very hard I think I always find it hard to find fullbacks for your team that one are good going forward and two good defensively this guy's got good crossing good corners good passing he's also good with the tackling his marking's good his heading's decent he is just a complete fullback going on to Portugal this is Rodrigo Ribeiro who plays for Sporting mainly for the B side where he's got 17 goals for them centre forward finishing a 12 isn't too bad but he's good with the ball again very well rounded physically just 18 years of age he has played some first team games for Sporting off to Salzburg in Austria we have Dijon Kameri who is Kosovan Austrian attacking midfielder very determined very quick Good carrier of the ball, decent vision, he's good off the ball as well. Uh, he's been at Salzburg for a bit, he's got six goals uh, in the last couple of seasons, five in this season IRL. Arda Gula, a player that many of you might recognise, playing for Real Madrid, the Turkish attacking midfielder, who looks uh, very, very good. Great pass at the ball, outstanding technique, he's got great flair, teamwork and vision. The yellows are the standard attributes there and he's got a lot of them so he's definitely one to watch out for but he's going to cost you a lot probably up to 50 million pounds he has got a 72 million pound release clause so Gula will be a lot of money Otto Ajax uh, the Netherlands this is Ural Hato who is part Dutch and part Curaçaoan he's a defender that can also play on the left hand side his crossing is pretty good he's got good jumping reach as well so he can do stuff in the air playing for Ajax's reserve team Young Ajax 23 appearances and a goal in the past couple of seasons just 18 years old going to cost you about 30 million pounds got a 29 million pound release clause that expires at the end of january 2025 so that might be one to watch out for you can get him for under 30 million pounds if you wait a little bit staying in the netherlands we're off to fire nord for yankuba minte who is gambian he is on loan from newcastle united a winger that can play on either side he's got you know a good strength on either foot 
he's good with the ball. He's got good anticipation as well. One to watch out for. He's got four caps in the goal for Gambia in Africa. Number 32, we've got Oscar Gluck, someone who was one to watch out for last year. Definitely one to watch in FM23, the Israeli midfielder. Two goals and 10 caps already for the Israeli national team. He's made a transfer to Red Bull Salzburg. Six million pound fee. Got a couple of goals for them. He's got eight appearances so far this season. Again, he's very good with the ball. He can really pick out a pass. He's good off the ball as well. Just definitely one to watch out for. And he has been for a, well, a, a, a couple of years now. And then back to Brighton, who I feel like we're going to see a few times on this list. Facundo Buonanotte, the right sided player, can also play as a central attacking midfielder. Uh, signed from Rosario Central in Argentina. He is Italian Argentine. Again, just very well rounded. You know, he's composed. He's good off the ball. He's got a strong work rate. He's pretty athletic. Got a deal until 2026, looking at about 30 or 40 million pounds for him at the moment. Into the 21 to 30 list, we've got Simona Pafundi, an Italian attacking midfielder playing for Udinese. He's come through at the club. Hasn't started a game for them yet this season, but does have a goal from the bench. He is only 18 years old. He's very, very determined. He's got a great flair. Central attacking midfielder, creative as well. He can pick out a pass. He's got very good vision. After Belgium and Genk Bilal El Canus, a left sided player, can also play as a cam. He's Belgian Moroccan. 19 year old playing for Genk. Good first touch. Again, can pick out a pass. His crossing is not too bad. Great decision making, determined, great vision as well. Described as a wonder kid, and he's fairly determined personality as well. He's doing well in Genk at the moment. Four goals and seven assists in the current season. Up to Germany, Tom Biscoff from Hoffenheim. Another central midfielder come through at the German club. He's 18 years of age. Looks like a Ward Prowse sort of player. Great corners, great free kick taking, really good passer of the ball as well, and great vision. That list looks like a sort of Ward Prowse sort of player. But he's going to cost a lot of money 23 to 36 million pound value, and he's still got four years left on his deal as well in italy we've got michael coyote a nigerian italian playing as a right back reserved media handling stars good that's what you want to be looking out for you know that's a good personality to have a good trait to have uh, very quick very pacey Good positioning, long throws, interesting one there. You can go for those long throws into the box. It could be good to get for those set pieces. Good cross over the ball as well. Just a really decent player. Paul Wanner, a right sided player, can also play down the middle. Very good with the ball, good passer with the ball, good vision composed good flair fairly athletic as well. Level headed, only 18. He is on loan from Bayern though, so that's going to be a pricey one. So I'm going to Elversburg, which is in the second tier. Ashley Phillips, central defender. First one of these we've really seen. Playing for Sheffield Wednesday on loan from Tottenham Hotspur. Three goals already so far this season. As a centre-back, that's impressive. Well, he is six foot five with 16 jumping reach, so he can really go forward for those uh, corner kicks and set pieces. 13 headings, decent as well. He could feature under Postacoglu next season up with Tottenham when he goes back there after his loan, because he looks like a player. Hugo Larsson, centre midfielder from Sweden, playing for Eintracht Frank again looks very well rounded good first touch good passing great vision I mean the mentals are just really well rounded and physically he looks very impressive as well so Hugo Larson just like looks like a an absolute like unit in midfield gets forward whenever possible decent passing and vision as well so he can pick out those passes and set some goals up fairly recent signing for the german side signed from malma for 9.5 million pounds i think maybe the most expensive player we've seen so far 63 million plus yazin ozkan from turkey playing for kazim Paja. he's a left back slash center back uh Good defensively, good marking, good tackling. Not too bad in the air. He's determined, good decision making. He looks like a decent centre back. He's only 17 as well, so he's got so much room to grow. And he's already got a couple of goals for Kazim Pazza as well. Um, two goals in the 2022 23 season and 30 games so far this season. So he is a first team player uh, in this Turkish side. Another player here that you will be familiar with Andres Sheldarup at Norgeland on loan from Benfica. Left sided player. We've got some yellow in there, which is always good to see. Great character of the ball really good first touch and technique as well his crossing is not too bad his passing is good he's athletic he's media friendly and reserved another wonder kid he's got an 86 million pound release clause but his value at the moment is set between 14 and 18 million so you might be able to pick him up cheap came through at norway signed for norgeland in denmark uh, benfica signed him and he's been loaned back to the danish outfit isaac babadi playing for Leeds united on loan from psv he's part dutch and part sierra leonean very versatile midfielder can play down the middle or on either side and he's quick he's got good crossing so he can definitely you know work as a winger it's Ball carrying is good as well. 12 appearances this season in the championship. Five assists. He's got a decent rating, 6.84. Into the top 20, Desiree Doué playing for Stade René from France, central midfielder. Physically not too bad, mentally very well-rounded. He can pick a pass out. He's good with the ball. His first touch is great. 
17 year old here from the Basque region, Peo Huestamendia, playing for Bilbao in the C team. 12 goals and 30 appearances for the reserves. He's only 17 years old, he's a right sided player, he's already athletic, he's good with the ball, his passing's great. His release clause is just £8.5 million. So if you've got a club that's got some money to spend, West Amendia could be your one. Uh, Valentin Barco, uh, lots of people surely familiar with this guy. He's very, very impressive, playing for Boca Juniors. 19 years of age, value six to eight million pounds. Release clause 8.25. Like that's uh, that that's that's not an expensive fee. And he's very, very impressive as well. Like he's a level-headed player. He's another wonder kid. He's got great vision. He's decent physically. He's great going forward. Great passer. Yeah, very, very impressive, you know, left back or left winger. We're starting to get into the really talented players now. We've got Yusuf Makoko next from Borussia Dortmund, who obviously we've known about for a long, long time. He's now 19 years old. He scored seven goals for Dortmund last season in the Bundesliga. He's got eight in this season in game. He's he's really coming into this team and he's he's playing games as well. You know, he was allowed to train with Dortmund's senior team when he was just 15 years old. And I think the record since been broken, but he was the youngest player in Bundesliga history. He was the youngest player in Champions League history. And he's still got plenty more history to make as well. From Barcelona, we have Vitor Roque, Brazilian centre forward, who has well, 15 finishing, media friendly, decent long shots, penalty taking, off the ball. Recent signing for Barcelona, £25.5 million pounds from Brazil. First time we've seen Man City on this list, Rico Lewis. He's a right back, he's aggressive, he's brave, he's determined, positioning's good, work rate's good. Technically, he's not too bad. 13 tackling is not too bad, but he's got plenty of room to grow. He's very agile, he's decent physically, and he's getting games in Man City's first team squad, and that squad is one of the best teams in Premier League history, so that's got to count for something. Up next, Francesco Pio Esposito from Inter Milan. He's on loan at Spezia. He's a centre forward, six foot three, 16 jumping reach and 16 heading, so that aerial presence, his finishing's good as well, so we can finish with both feet. He's got a reasonable left foot and a strong right foot. He's a good passer of the ball, so we can set things up as well and again under 10 million pounds not going to cost you a great deal and he's only 18 as well 16 year old Lemin Yamal I think broke Makoko's record in the Champions League if I'm not mistaken he's been a real talking point for Barcelona under Xavi like he is setting records in Champions League in La Liga everywhere he's the youngest ever goal scorer in La Liga history 16 years and 87 days and he's also beaten Andrew Fati's record by over a year of being Barcelona's youngest goal scorer in La Liga. And he's going to break more records as well, like he's talented. He's followed by another talented Barcelona player. This is Gavi. Now, unfortunately, he suffered a pretty serious injury recently. It's going to keep him out until after the European Championships. That's not good. But he is going to be one of the best midfielders um, of his generation. He's just incredibly good. Perfectionist personality, level-headed an awful lot of money he's got that billion euro release clause he's got two years left on his contract so yeah he's here to stay but he is unbelievably talented and then we have julian duranville from borussia dortmund the belgian ivorian can play on either side he's good with either foot he's extremely quick he's great with the ball he's got good flair as well duranville's talented and he's a real whiz kid as well he's only 17 years of age as well that's just scary that he looks like this and he's only 17 he's gonna get quicker he's gonna get better <laughs> but we're into the top 10 now and we start with paris Saint germans warren zaire emery 18 years of age uh, defensive midfielder we haven't really seen too many of those on this list but you know he's a dm zaire emery is 18 years of age he's got good first touch his tackling's decent his passing's good so he looks a bit more like an aggressive kind of creative player maybe like a regista sort of player could be interesting to see how that works out he's wanted by chelsea united and real madrid he's playing for the psg first team but yeah, this guy is going to be, you know, huge in the future. He's going to be a mainstay in that French squad as well. Number nine, possibly the cheapest player that we've seen so far. Sver Halsef Nipan from Rosenborg in Norway. He's another central midfielder. His passing's good. His first touch and dribbling are also good. Flair's strong. He's got great vision. He's either footed, very strong on either foot. He's featuring for the Rosenborg first team. He's scoring goals for them. He's 17 years old and his value is only around £5 million like you can't say no to that then we have Joao Neves 19 year old from Portugal plays for Benfica very well rounded uh, he looks outstanding actually dribbling is good first touch is good passing is good techniques good lots of yellows in those mentals he's aggressive he's brave great decision making great vision naturally fit good stamina athletic he is just an all-rounder midfielder 
On to number seven, Matisse Tell from Bayern. He is French Guadeloupean. That's a nice one. He's very athletic. He's got great determination and flair. His finishing's good. He can play as a centre forward. He's got six goals for Bayern in the past couple of years. He's only 18 years old. He looks um, he looks talented. Up next, we have Endrick, uh, who you will all be familiar with, I'm sure. He's going to be joining Real Madrid in July 2024 for, I think, 70 million euros is the fee. So he will be going to Real Madrid um, at the end of the first season, but he's currently playing for uh, Palmeiras. Obviously, he was a big talking point on last year's game, and it's no different this year. He's got good finishing. He's got extremely good flair. He's strong. He's naturally fit. He's got good acceleration. It's just a shame that he's already committed to joining Real Madrid and hopefully it works out for him because it doesn't always when you join Real Madrid at a young age you get there eventually like Odegaard but you've also got examples like Luka Jovic into the top five of the next gen list and we have Oscar Schwartel a Dane playing for Brunby again not especially expensive looks like under 10 million pounds he's only 17 years old he's got five goals for Brunby he looks very very decent no outstanding attributes couple of 15s in there but he looks very very decent he's only 17 as well remember he's got a couple of years on most of the players in this team and he's only got a year left on his contract as well so you could probably pick him up for for a, a decent amount of money and number four someone who's been really making waves recently Rooney Baji, who plays for Copenhagen he got the winning goal against Man United in the Champions League he is Swedish and Syrian he's a right-sided player he looks outstanding evasive and reserved media handling he's very quick he's got great determination he's good off the ball great anticipation and composure really good passer great long shots decent finishing fantastic with the ball his corners and crossing are good as well a right-sided player that can cut inside get goals He's really one to watch. At number three, someone who had the balls to pull off an overhead kick in the third minute this past weekend. Just, that takes guts. So, you know, it, it gets my respect. Alejandro Garnacho, the Spanish Argentine from Man United, could play on either side. He's either footed. He's extremely quick. 18 pace and acceleration. He is rapid. He's got great flair as well. Dribbling's good. First touch is good. He's good with his penalties as well. He's great off the ball. He's going to be uh, really one to watch out for. Uh, I mean, look at his value, like £200 million pounds plus. Like He is going to be absolutely unbelievable for United as long as he stays there. Um, and if he does move, it's going to be for £100 million pounds plus. So, you know, Man United will either have an outstanding player or they'll have money to spend and hopefully they'd spend it well if they do sell. For their sake, not for mine. I can't stand United. At number two, we have Angelo, a Brazilian playing for Strasbourg on loan from Chelsea. He's a right winger. He's fairly quick. He's got good flair. He's fantastic with the ball. His passing's good. 11 goals in 30 appearances in game this season for the French side. It's a recent Chelsea signing from Santos, £13 million, pounds, but he'll come back from that Strasbourg loan and I'm sure he'll get some game time at Chelsea. He deserves it and, you know, looking at this, I think he needs it. And then we've seen him before, but let's actually have a look at what he looks like. Evan Ferguson from Brighton and Hove Albion. Two or three times we've seen Brighton's name on this list and they're a side to watch out for, definitely. Evan Ferguson, centre forward, 19 years of age. He is English and Irish. Six goals in 13 appearances for national team. I'd love to see him play for England, but I don't know if he will or if he can, if he's already played for Ireland. He's got seven goals in 26 appearances this season for Brighton. He's got great finishing. Uh, he's really good. You know, heading's good. He's 6'2", 15 jump in reach. He's good in the air as well. Uh, decision making's good. He's very, very quick. Uh, and yeah, I think he deserves his place top of this uh, next-gen list. Um, there's some very, very, very talented players in this list. Garnacho would definitely be up there. Uh, Endrick, of course. And um, yeah, there might be players that you might rank higher. And your list may well be different from mine. But, you know, you can't disagree with the list. There's some outstanding, talented players in this list. Teenagers. There's some players that you can sign for your side, like sort of fairly early on. And they will improve your side. They might only be 17, but they could still be outstanding players for you. You know, we haven't got Ronaldo and Messi forever, remember? So, you know, we've got some new, new players coming through. Some of them look outstanding. So I'm excited to see what they do. I'm sure you are too. And we will watch their career with a great interest, as uh, Palpatine would say. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave comments, and subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Turn notifications on. Check out the second channel down below. Some variety gaming over there where we just started a uh, little hope from the Dark Pictures Anthology and let me know what sort of videos you want to see over here as well more videos like this i am planning a video in the future where we're going to have a look at a list of wonder kids from 10 years ago and see 
what they've been doing since then and see if FM got those predictions right about those Wonder Kids. That's going to be coming up very soon. But yeah, lots of players here to look out for. Some of them you might be able to get for your team. Some of them may be a bit out of your price range, but definitely some players here for you to look at. So hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.